children, welcome to the Year 3 Science. This lesson has been designed for a 30 minutes lesson period. This lesson comprises of five segments. Looking around us. Our science lab. Mr. SPI will tell you about song and what have we learned today? This video is designed with fun with science in mind. You will have a fun time watching the segment and enhancing your knowledge on the concepts you have learned in school. In segment looking around us, we will learn what magnet is and uses of magnets. In segment R Science Lab, we will learn that magnets attract and repel, materials that magnet attract and carry out the fair test to find out which magnet is the strongest. In segment Mr. SPI will tell you about you will learn to handle magnets with care. In segment Songs, we will have a fun time singing a song about magnets. In segment What Have We Learned Today, we will see the important points from these lessons. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. SPI. S for science, P for private, and I for investigator. Today, I am your host. Welcome to the Science Zone. From here, I will take you to explore the world of science. Today, our mission is to learn about magnets. What is a magnet? A magnet is a piece of iron or steel that has the power to attract other metal objects. Magnets have different shapes. Here are some of them. Bar magnet Cylindrical magnet U-shaped magnet Horseshoe magnet Circular magnet Ring magnet Every magnet has two ends or poles. One end is called the North Pole and the other end is called the South Pole. Can you find the North Pole and the South Pole of these magnets?
Many things work with the help of magnets. Look around you. There is a little magnet on your pencil box to keep the cover closed. The magnet in the door of the refrigerator keeps it closed. A magnet is placed behind a door to hold it open. A tiny magnet is used in a compass to show direction. A small magnet is fitted at the bottom of a chessman so that it will not fall off during a game of chess. A magnet on a whiteboard holds papers in place. A magnet is used in a dynamo to produce electrical energy. Can you imagine our world without magnets? A magnet is a piece of iron or steel that has the power to attract other metal objects. Every magnet has two ends or poles. One end is called the North Pole and the other end is called the South Pole. Many things work with the help of magnets. Look around you. There is a little magnet on your pencil box to keep the cover closed. The magnet in the door of the refrigerator keeps it closed. A magnet is placed behind a door to hold it open. A tiny magnet is used in a compass to show direction. Magnets. Magnets can attract or repel each other. Now, let's carry out an experiment to see how this happens. Here are two bar magnets that are of the same size. Place them so that the same poles near each other. The same poles repel each other. Now, put two bar magnets together at their different poles facing each other. See, magnets that are of different poles attract each other. Let's try another experiment. This time we'll see objects are attracted to magnets. Here goes Plastic fox. No.
no. A plastic hanger. No. An eraser. No. Nails. Yes. A shirt. No. And what about this mm, pencil? Objects which are made of iron are attracted to magnets. They are called Magnetic objects. Objects made wood, plastic, rubber, or clothes which are not attracted to magnets are called non-magnetic objects. You can measure the strength of a magnet. Not all magnets are of the same strength. In this experiment, you can see the different strengths of magnets. This is a bar magnet. This is a U-shaped magnet. And this is a ring magnet. Now let's see how many paper clips each of these magnets can hold. So, which is the strongest magnet? Well, it is U-shaped magnet because it attracts the most paper clips. Right, you should also know how to take care of magnets. And here, Mr. SPI to tell you about it. Hi guys! Sometimes magnet just can't seem to attract each other. That's because they are weak. They become weak when they are not handled properly. Here's what I mean. We should never heat a magnet. Knock a magnet. Or drop a magnet. Heating, knocking and dropping will cause a magnet to lose its magnetism. When magnets are not in use, they should be kept in pairs. North Pole to South Pole with an iron keeper at each end.
magic metal, the magnet. It's so special, the magnet has two poles. One is not south, the other south, the other. The magnet. Don't drop it if you do. It's become sweet. The magnet is here to stay. In this lesson, you have learnt about magnets. Magnets come in different shapes and sizes. This is bar magnet. The two ends of a magnet attract the most paper clips. The two ends are the poles of the magnet. Magnets attract some things to them. When you put a magnet near some paper clips, the paper clips stick to the magnet. The magnet attracts the paper clips to it. Look at this magnet. The poles of the magnet are colored differently. One pole is red and the other pole is blue. What do the colors mean? You can also see N and S on each pole. What do the letters mean? The north pole of the magnet is colored red. The letter N means north. The south pole of the magnet is colored blue. The letter S means south. Look at these magnets. There are the letters N and S on this magnet. There is no N or S on this magnet. How do you find out the North Pole and South Pole of this magnet? Let's put the magnets this way. They attract each other. Different poles of magnets attract each other. The north pole of the magnet is attracted to this magnet. This must be the south pole, and this must be the north pole of the magnet. This is one way to find out the north pole and south pole of the magnet. You have seen that magnets attract some objects. You have also seen that magnets do not attract some other objects. Magnets attract the thumbtack, paper clip, and nail, the plastic fork, plastic hanger, eraser, nail, wooden ruler, and a shirt are not made of iron or. Different magnets have different strengths. How do we find out which magnet is the strongest? To plan a fair test to compare the strength of different magnets, we need to decide what to keep the same, what to change, what to measure. To make the fair test, we need to use different magnets. The objects that the magnets attract must be of the same type and size. Then we count the number of paper clips attracted to the magnets. The magnet that attracts the most paper clips is the strongest. This is the magnet in the pencil box. The magnet in a pencil box holds the cover closed. 
This is the magnet in a chess piece. The magnets in a chess set holds the chess pieces onto the board. This is the magnet behind the cabinet. The magnet behind the cabinet holds the cover closed. We must handle magnets with care. Magnet will become weak if the magnets are not handled properly. We must keep the magnets in their keepers. This is the correct way to keep the magnets. We must keep the magnets properly. We should put the magnets this way. The different poles of the magnets must be put near to each other. That's all for today. I hope you will remember what you learned from Ibrahim and me at the Science Zone. Goodbye.